When Fixer Upper first came on the scene in 2013, fans drooled over the beautiful designs and renovations created by husband and wife duo Chip and Joanna Gaines, who have gone on to become their own iconic brand. While clients may assume that a home touched by the talented couple would sell quickly, though, this isn't always the case. Though the show originally ended in 2018, a year later, House Beautiful reported that there were still four houses on the market at that time that hadn't sold, including the most expensive home ever featured on Fixer Upper. Called Papa's House on the show, the three-bedroom, three-bathroom, 210-acre home in Marlin, Texas, got its name because it was built by the current owner's grandfather. The budget for renovations was $160,000, though House Beautiful reported that total costs were actually $250,000, and it seemed to be worth it. Right this minute, you guys are still upside right on this thing, about $36,000, almost $40,000. But after Chip and Joanna installed hardwood floors, a copper sink, and concrete countertops, the asking price of the home skyrocketed to $1,450,000 when it went back on the market after the show ended in early 2019. However, according to Realtor.com, it was taken off the market after a full year without finding a buyer. Local realtor Kristen Clements told Insider that the reason these upscale houses from Fixer Upper have a hard time selling is because of the price tag. While Fixer Upper homes often get a lot of traction, Clements said that people are often coming to see the house, not to buy it. I just think it's going to take the right buyer who wants to be in Waco and also who can afford a higher price point. Another high-priced home was the Asian Ranch House that was featured on Season 2. According to House Beautiful, the house was sold to the Reeds for just over $262,000. They had a solid budget for renovations, and according to Realtor, when they went to sell the home a few years later, they didn't hold back, listing it at a whopping $739,900. Unfortunately, they set their sights a bit too high, and after dropping the price five times, it too was eventually taken off the market in 2020. According to Southern Living, the median home price in Waco, Texas, where Fixer Upper takes place, is around $200,000 so it makes sense that these higher-priced homes aren't selling. Clements told Southern Living that most fans of the show who visit the homes can't actually afford the high price tag. Our honey spot is around that $150,000 to $250,000 range. That's where we'll get people buying right away. While it may be difficult to sell the homes renovated by Chip and Joanna Gaines on Fixer Upper, that doesn't mean they don't make the owners money. In fact, according to Insider, many of the people featured on the show have used the show's popularity to make a profit through renting sites like Ver and Airbnb. During season two, for example, fans fell in love with a mid-century modern home bought by the Barrett family. According to Verbo, Josh and Jill Barrett still own the home, but they rent it out for $299 per night. The high price tag may have to do with the fact that the home is famous. Even their listing is titled, As Seen on Fixer Upper, Stay in the Fabulous Waco Mid-Century Modern Home. Another home that has taken the renting route is the ever-popular Shotgun House, which appeared on season three. According to Realtor, it was one of the smallest smallest homes on the show at just 1,050 square feet. Although the original owners attempted to sell the home for an astounding $950,000, they are now renting it on Airbnb instead for $325 per night. And with 630 reviews, it doesn't seem that they are having any trouble filling it. And we really want to be the first to welcome you guys home. With Fixer Upper Welcome Home now airing on the Magnolia Network, we will have to wait and see if the show's new designs do a better job of selling homes and not just renting them. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.